Florida man admits to lighting firecrackers under a child's bed. He said it was a prank gone wrong. It's time for insane parents, or in other words, things you should never ever do as a parent. And here is a disclaimer to further cement that. Anyways, let's go. Hello, home city. Many people have been wondering why we have been closed for the past few weeks. It's a long and complicated story, but I'll do my best to simplify it. The bare truth is that the business was stolen from me and my father attempted to murder me in the restaurant. Oh my god. Mr. Nolan had his first chiropractic adjustment today and he loved it. Hashtag chiropractic care. Hashtag adjustment. And this is where it goes downhill. Hashtag six days old. Hashtag summer baby. Hashtag everybody's healthy. How do you even chiropractically adjust an infant? Aren't there skeletons like mush? Anyone who knows me, hush. So this may sound crazy, but anyone here have an Aries baby? I'm literally scared. Lol, I have a Taurus girl and a Capricorn boy. They are so easygoing and laid back. What am I going to do with a third that's an Aries? What are they like as a baby? A toddler? An, an older child? I'm a Taurus and our household is so easygoing, even our dogs. How am I going to get along with an Aries? I stress every night that my eight-year-old daughter can't read yet. What? She still takes a long time to read three-letter words. I do both homeschool and unschool. Un okay, I did read that right. Unschooling. If that makes sense, lol, my worries get to me every night. The f is unschooling? This 13 year old came in 5th place at the Fortnite World Cup and could only hug his father after winning 900k. Hot damn kid, nice job. Even though it was Fortnite, good job. And then we have the comments. If that disgrace of a kid was my son, I would make him run gassers in the South Florida, of course he's Florida, sun without water until either he chooses to play a real sport or collapses of heat exhaustion. Blank makes an excellent point. Hope you're infertile. People like you don't deserve kids. I happen to run the best towing service in the Orlando area. 3.2 star rating. I can make sure any car you own gets towed for illegal parking and sent to a chop shop to be sent to Africa in scrap for parts. Don't test me. <laughs> Orlando Police. <laughs> what towing company are you with? Asking for a friend. <laughs> that backfired slightly. Just lost custody of my kids. Summer is about to be fucking lit. <laughs> if this is your attitude to losing your kids, I'm glad they're gone. Baby has been on the paleo diet since birth. Here is what she looks like today. How? How are you consuming meat, child? Where's your teeth? Apparently, the TV shows, sex ed curriculum, clothing, social media, and pride events are enough to indoctrinate our kids. Now we need to make their school supplies in the LGBT pride colors. Hey everyone, look, someone's new to back to school shopping. Just because it's multicolored doesn't mean it's gay, for God's sakes. Ah, cuddles time with daddy. Oh, this is actually pretty- oh, oh, god damn it. Why does this have 16 likes? Who is liking this? There is a goddamn swastika in the background. Jesus Christ. That's not okay. A mixed bag of make your own diagnosis. I'm a nurse in pediatric neurology. We frequently have families who refuse to put their kids on seizure medications regardless of the EEG findings and the fact that they, you know, have seizures and stuff. One family did the research and attempted to cure the child's epilepsy with essential oils, over-the-counter CBD oil, yoga, and metal ion wristbands to balance the brain. They even went as far as having the kid's dental fillings removed and replaced with a non-metallic filling. 
There was the time that someone told us she didn't need medication because if you opened a fizzy can of Pepsi and put it under her nose, she would come out of a seizure. If that didn't work, you could whisper racist pieces in her ear and she would stop seizing. Just get ready for this post. It's a big yikes. I don't even know what like voice to do for this. My gorgeous 17 year old daughter, thick, plump, and juicy, never looks so sexy. I gotta get her into plus size modeling. Oh yes, she takes after her mama. I proudly have to admit. Ah! God, I am like just shivering in disgust. Who the f uses the word plump to describe their daughter? Are you like the witch from Hansel and Gretel? God damn. Our pediatrician profiled me as a bad mother. I was pressured by our doctor from my son's birth all the way through grade school. I kept telling him no vaccines whatsoever. Zero. Nada. I was hassled, shamed, talked down to, and more. Not a fun experience whatsoever. I was profiled as a bad mother. Mm-hmm. Checks out, Chief. I would like advice. My daughter is a computer programmer and lives on her own. She does not respect my headship and does what she pleases. She is dating a man I disapprove of and bought a car without even consulting me. She is a liberal Christian. How do I convince her that the biblical thing to do is to be under my covering? Dude should be happy. Daughter's on a good path. She's able to afford a car. She's, you know, got someone in her life. She seems like she's happy, but no, she's a f***ing heretic. Some disabilities look like this. Some look like this. Parents are poisoning their children with bleach to cure autism. Oh my god. So, I'm pretty sure we have your cat, however, we've had your cat since Sunday night, and I put a post on Facebook about your cat immediately when she came to our house, and have gotten no response, and you've barely posted something about the kitten that you care so much about three days later. My 10 year old little girl who has anxiety has been taking care of her and has spent her entire savings purchasing items that the cat would need. The cat has quickly become a service animal for her. I, I give these people their cat back. Just because they didn't take to the internet doesn't mean that they weren't searching in other ways, checking with animal control, the pound, or asking neighbors. Go be a good mom and get your child her own cat and don't be a thief. It was a horrible idea for you to allow your 10 year old to dot 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 dot. Oh my god. Did, did, did you check the collar? Did... Uh, Facebook? Really? That's, that's your approach? Uh, you saw the missing cat posters! Really? Little F had his first adjustment today at six days old. I had blooming bellies. Mommy and me Cairo. Another one? God damn it. Why is this a fad? What? My 12 year old daughter watched 50 Pregaroo. Pregaroo? Pregaroo? Eh. Videos this summer and took notes on each one to earn some new shoes. Okay. We had a blast discussing them together. I, um. I thought. I thought Pregaroo was, was an essential oils company. And I just now realized it's Prager You, <laughs> ultra conservative YouTube channel that. <laughs> One star. I was just turned away from a movie because I have my six month old. He has been to every movie we've ever gone to since he was born. His first movie was at about 10 days old. The staff have always been unhelpful and this was just rude. When asked why we couldn't go into our movie with him, we were told, I don't know, you just can't. There's no reason, you just can't. I just wasted 45 minutes driving and had my date night with my husband ruined. We'll seriously reconsider coming back here. So 13 year old son going to cinema with friends. One of the friend's moms, because she's never met the boys before, 
wants them all to individually take a picture of themselves and send to her son's phone so she can see what they look like before she decides if her son can go. Uh, y'all, that is a baby in a car seat in the bed of a freaking backless blazer going straight through Coleman. It was holding its little hands up in front of its face trying to keep the sun out of them. Someone call CPS. Here's a pose from the dad. Daddy. Lily, you're sexy. Lily, I'm not sexy, I'm brave. My heart is coming out. Wisdom, strength, and bravery going to hit the world hard when this generation coming through. How old do you think the kid is? 15? Maybe 17? Because this is insane parents, the dad's probably being creepy. Haha! <laughs> nope, she's a f***ing toddler! If God asked me to kill my child, I would, because I trust him. Thank you for making it this far. If you enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing or even clicking the like button and leaving it in the comment. If you want to see more of my stuff, then check out the end screens or maybe you can go to my gaming channel, which will have new uploads coming very soon now that I finally fixed Windows Game DVR and the nonsense it was causing previously. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.